Hi guys and girls, back with another video. Hope you're uh, all doing well. A bit chilly here in Northern Ireland. Supposed to get some snow. It's, what is it today? Wednesday, the 8th of, of uh, March, and they've predicted snow for tomorrow, but we will see. Anyway, reason for today's video. I have been out, after a lot of people have mentioned this to me on different forums and things, and I have myself some Volkswagen wheel nut caps. Pack of 20, uh, 4.99 on eBay. I'll see you just put them over your nuts on the wheels just to cover them up a bit and uh, Volkswagen written on them. But there's an issue. Now, I'll put some on the wheels already, but the issue is these are the last five I've got left. Nut, 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 nut. No locking wheel caps, which are obviously round. In the uh, description, it did say that there were four, eight, twelve, sixteen like this, and four that should have been round to fit over the locking wheel nut. So I've had to do some adaptation, as I do in a lot of my videos, to make things work, make things fit. So these four can go on, that's fine. This one won't fit over. Let's go around and show you. Oh, I've done this side already. But we are just on the uh, front passenger side, obviously. That's what they look like once they're on. These ones I haven't done yet. But we've got this one down here that's round. So I'll put that on there. It's not going on. Put it on. Let's line it up around the right way. Which way is it there? Put it on there. Push it on. Sits in nicely. So, uh, yeah. How do we get round a problem like this? Oh, yeah. I could contact the seller, send them back, get a refund. It will take days. I'm not going to do that. Not for the sake of 4.99, or them sending out another set, or whatever it is. I'm not. I'm not hugely fussed. I'm going to adapt one of these. Basically what I'm going to do is cut down each line. One, two, three, four, five. Pull them out. A little electrical tape around the outside. Obviously not all the way up to the top. Just sort of to about here. So that it folds inside and then it should it will fit over the cap nice and solid because I've done it on the other ones. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this while I'm recording. But basically... All I'm doing is getting a blade in there, pushing it down. No, I don't. I think I need two hands. Oh, oh, in there, like so. Pull the blade out. On to the next one. Push it in. Blade down. Pull it out. I just do all these, and I'll get back to you. Right, so I've cut down all of these uh, down the edges, down the straight edges, and then I'm getting a pair of pliers in there. Where can I, can I rest my phone somewhere so you can see what's going on? Obviously if I put it just, no, no, what am I doing? Turn, turn it around that way. Yeah, so get the gear stick out of the way. And then I'm getting a pair of pliers in here onto the piece of plastic twisting it and pulling it out just like extracting teeth so that's that one that one that one three more to go that one out that one out and that one out so then we are left a bit more plastic in there I want to pull out that's it so it's left looking like that inside now that is too big to fit over the locking wheel over the locking wheel nut it'll just it'll fall off 
So, a bit of electrical tape. I think it's about four and a half times I have to go around this from what I remember from the other ones. So we're just going round like that. Just once. Twice. Let's just try, th let's try three times. And then if we have to add some more, we can. So let's just, uh, let's go back round to that front wheel. Around we go. So you tuck this tape in. Where are we? Locking wheel nut. Mm, no, still too loose for my liking. Let's just get the bit of kit to pull it off. Which one was it? That one. Yeah, still too loose. Needs another half a half a turn of tape on it. Just one moment. Right, so I'll just put another half a half a turn of halfway round with tape. There we go. Nice and snug, fitting in there, lovely. Get these other three out and get them fitted. <sighs> Line them all up so they're all kind of facing the same way. Uh, that's that way. Push it on. That one. Line it up, spin. Where is it? There? Nope. Which way is that it's going? That way. There. They're not easy to line up, you know, because obviously I want them all kind of facing the same way. That should be. Yeah. Last one. Uh, there. there we go. That's looking better. Yep. Obviously, a few videos ago, I've changed my tyres. I've changed the front ones. They're ready for MOT. The back calipers. I think I am going to go blue with these. I just, it's all a bit black in there with the black on here and this, this now painted black but so i think i am going to go blue with those but i don't know when that will be done won't be too far away but like i say cars off for mot cars off for mot on tuesday 14th of march now if you want obviously the uh mot mot's are different in uh northern ireland to the rest of the uk so I might do a video of me. I will do a video next Tuesday of going for the MOT. I have done them before, but it was quite a while ago. Um, obviously with these wheel caps, they do come with the tool to pull them off. But if I go in my glove box, I'm sure, maybe it's not in the glove box. So much crap in the glove box. No, it must be still in with the spare wheel. Obviously they come with them. Um, in the spare wheel anyway so i don't know whether mine came with them from factory and then they've been removed at some point and not put back in place but uh yeah for the sake of 4.99 and uh i'm not sending them back for the hassle of that or asking for a refund when it's taken me five minutes to uh adapt them to make them fit so uh yeah something else i'm thinking about thinking about upgrading the steering wheel um i've been looking around and i think the polo is it c6 or 6c has a slightly different layout of the buttons it's got a flat bottom slightly different layout of the buttons but it has the same buttons so um you can get some that have got the uh cruise control on the steering wheel on the later ones but some of the earlier c6 um polos 
it's not there. You've got it on the end of the stalk, like we like I've got on the end of here anyway. So I don't think any coding would be needed. Um, because all the buttons are the same, apart from this one is on this side, and that one's moved. There's, there's like two buttons here, but everything else looks like the same layout. So I'm wondering about uh, changing that. So yeah, flat bottom, different shaped airbag, and uh, but it's just trying to find one that's a price that I want to pay. I thought I had found one on eBay, but it's got one of the studs missing that hold the airbag in place. And they wanted 60 quid for it and 10 quid postage. And I put in an offer of 40 quid and they never got back to me. But um, yeah, maybe something I might do at some point, but it's just a case of finding the right price. The prices are all over the place, um, but I know which one I want to get that hopefully won't need any coding to get the buttons to work it should be a straight fit anyway guys i'll see you all tuesday when i'm off my mot have a good weekend